all right. Uh, play with the audio here for a bit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so today I will be starting a practice run for Deathless um, Gamma. I was like debating on if I wanted to do either Anomaly. Or gamma, but it's like I've been wanting to jump in a more like intense mod pack for Stalker, and uh, Gamma does look very interesting with the different like storylines for other factions. So decided to give this a go. So for the next year, I'll probably be practicing, practicing, attempting, trying to at least complete one storyline, Deathless. I think that'll be a huge win already. It's completing one storyline deathless. I also do it on medium difficulty for now. And hey, who knows? Maybe if this goes okay, eventually I'll be able to attempt Invictus. So without further ado, I'm gonna start picking my old starting loadout. I'm gonna pick the 45 ACP pistol. Um, the binoculars. I have some water with me. I don't really know if it's worth it to pick up the sunrise suit early or not. I might as well for this run. Um, I should probably take some first aid kits. Some food. Of an energy drink doesn't hurt either. Um, this will also just mainly be um, learning to play Gamma. So I watched some videos, I tried to do some research on it. It's very expensive, the, the head mount one, so I'm just gonna get the handheld one. I'm going with the um, 45 ACP pistol and I'll just a, just a point 45 pistol I shouldn't put ACP because I apparently that is better for uh, certain mutants than I could pick like Stop picking the uh, whatever they're called. Are these antibiotics. This is like a basic part of my kit, I guess. Um, I'll just put the tourniquets. Oh, this uh, let me get kind of press. I should probably just like make sure that it's okay. It's kind of tweaking. Not great. Red is only five points, so something that's only worth forty points. Some anti rats. Something's worth fifteen points now. If it would let me pick the bolts, I'll pick the last loaf of bread. I guess then here we go.
grab me some coffee. I think the biggest, the, it's both the coolest thing and the thing that scares me the most, but it's the um, way maintenance works for your weapons. Um, I know the first time I believe working with that, so I think I'll use that instead of this. Mm, pretty okay on weight. One just knife, just two, four binoculars. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, it's caps lock for um, the detector slot, apparently. empty so I'm gonna pick up six missions okay odd name for your tokens some bandits I am very curious to see how the like the weapon modifications are going to be like. So so far everything is working fine in my 1911. I need hydro shocks. How much do you ask? That's a lot, but I kind of need something anti mutants. Spot. I watched uh, some videos, so I kind of kind of realized that I should probably do his quest. Can I should do them now. No, please. Okay, I'll do that now. Oh, we're good for later. Okay, I'm still on the hydro shocks. Yeah, I'll just, I think at first I'll probably for like main storyline stuff, like the stuff you see in Anomaly, then I'll do this, but there's like from I've seen a monolith only quest line and a military quest line, both of which like, seem interesting. So I could probably like switch in between at the start at least between um Alright. So did something else killed him? Oh yeah, right. The most important thing, never run the perimeter. I just kind of want to go see if, um, what happened to them. I don't really see any movements. I just kind of died. 
Bring us onward to the anomalous area. Yeah, so we need to sell the same. This anomalous area is over there. I think for people that are still watching the SDM and Misery playthrough, I think I'm kind of done with that mod. I was kind of like playing more and more, it's realizing like a gunslinger is an amazing mod, like the models and the animations are great. I am just having a lot of difficulty with um, the variety of gear like I need something more than just like 10 weapons where three of them are AKs and then it's like some I like I would probably enjoy misery more if it displayed it with the arm zone or something So who knows, maybe if I, like if I'm having fun with permitting and planning permitting this, then I'm, and if the no had run for Dark Souls, the Dark Souls game goes okay, I might end up um, attempting like Trilogy, Stalker, No Death or something. I should probably like know that the individual games first, but I think this will be a really good practice. Can we know that the spot. Oh, there we go. So, um, this antibiotics, I'm, I'm guessing we have stuff with this tweaking hat and then I couldn't put this away. Um, this just deals with the radiation line, so I have it. Okay. For this one, it would mostly just be uh, figuring out the path through the area. Let's see, I'm on the Okay, there is one death.
save it again after that. I'm guessing Boxer is mostly empty now. Just wanna hit them just in case. Uh, excuse me. Uh, okay, so that. So the threat for that place is gonna be go to the tree, jump over, and just kind of beeline it towards the middle there. Ah. Some water here. No spread there, but I just see him running right in front of me. Might as well sprint towards him. What's wrong, buddy? Your spidey senses thing. Oh, well, one death for a part is pretty good for me, though. The last time I died um, three or four times in that area. The last time I Like. I watched some videos about it and a lot of it is just um, practice, like getting used to everything, knowing what happens where in the game, not rushing into like combat head first, making sure you prepare, like the basic stuff you'd expect from Permit, that's something that I should have like realized from doing Dark Souls 1 Permit Death. I love doing it in that game, man. A lot of it was, um... I was losing my thing, I thought they were reading the stash information, but... A lot of that was just... Knowing, okay, I pick up... Um... Like, I pick up... This weapon upgrade here, I make sure that I got a plus 50 weapon before I try ONS. And that made it like. Like, stuff like that really helps with the game. Like, with a permit, so. Like, it's gonna be kind of the same with doing no headruns now, just. I'm gonna go sell some stuff to sit now. I'm gonna be doing some bandit hunting. It's just a lot of um Don't overextend yourself. Make sure you get as prepared as possible for a situation. And What thirty is also too far. Gotta see what I click past the first one. Um, I think I'm gonna really want to get rid of here. Um. Yeah, it's like I'll be prepping. Um. My Dark Souls 3 no hit run later today. I, later oh, today, yeah. like I'll probably end up streaming slash recording no hit practice and permeth practice, like between each day. Um, I 
I'm CNG. I would have thought this was considered a friendly base, but safe here then. Uh, else it'd just be a lot of like practice and knowing what to do in what situation which I kind of like that about I like that more than speedruns I don't know how to explain it because they're in a way almost the same but there's just something about like a speed run where you're just aiming to go as fast as possible and in a way I feel like it's more of um, running at, against other people than just like purely challenge for yourself. Wow. That's a really powerful pistol. I didn't expect to kill it in like a few shots. Uh, 17 left for that one. Should be some bandits in the uh, area. I also should store all my mutant parts I loot for quest rewards. Um, but yeah, it's, with speedruns, I feel like a lot of it is mostly just like you run against other people. You can like set up a goal for yourself, but I, for myself personally, I feel like it's too easy to kind of lose yourself in what like other people are doing versus this it's more of a, like versus Bermuda's and no hits it's more like a personal Doing okay, everything's still okay. I almost have myself on fire there. And that was a lot of of some equipment there. That's like in a way I'd be pretty excited like if this goes great to Wait, I'm no I'm using AP or PC. No, все, хана ему. Hmm, okay. So 
or for being most quiet there. So I wanted to focus all I think that's just gonna be a thing with these. This game in general like you gotta focus. I'm gonna do the quick turn around there. I, I think it's cheeky breakage channel or something. There are really helpful tips for the permanent stuff there and like baiting out enemies. Three enemies? Make sure everything else is clear here. Really hear anybody else calling out or anything, so I think I'm good. Okay. All by all, I, I got hit a couple of times, but not too bad. One over here that I had shot it. There's a leveling system for this mod, I didn't even know. Um, I have 22 achievements. I mean, that's pretty cool actually. Game statistics. Hmm. Hmm. If somebody watching can tell me if I can see that anywhere, be greatly appreciated. It's a broken barrel, which means if I can replace the barrel and everything else, the only thing that works on that thing is the plug. Great. How many patches did I get? Three, eight, seven? Hmm. Oh god, is there a magazine? It is there a magazine system? I didn't think there was a magazine, unless I, I can make my own bullets if I find enough parts. Also, stop burning brain. I am gonna have to buy some med packs whenever I get to. Next spot here. I'm gonna unload some of my stuff over at the. Stalker base over there. Um, there somewhere. And then from there on out, gotta go back and forth between the rookie village and this base and just, um, clean up some mutants. Get some more gear. I might not like record all of it. Unless people want to see me just running back and forth killing mutants, I could try to do as many quests as possible in here. I don't really mind, like I kind of like just recording stuff to record. We got something more to do with my game time. It's like why I also need to do some more streaming. Um, I do need to get on top of that and it's just kind of like a nice archive to have of the runs and like a recording of the mistakes I made so I know like okay that time I die because I tried running into an exoskeleton with my dinky macro it's like it's not gonna work out but it's like good to just have those situation like 
kind of a muddy. You're bandits. I could have started shooting them earlier, I know, but I wanted to be sure that I had a good shot. I was behind cover, so I. I should probably. Pick up my stuff along the way there. Nope, not worth it. So I don't know if it's like worth it to sell stuff or I'm better off just no, not no, keeping any of it. Sure. I can go do some I'll kill them. See what these these guys have for me. So you don't buy any of that equipment. Come over there. I don't have to sell some of the stuff. I know like a lot of it's gotta be usable, but I need to sell some of it. Sounds cool. <laughs> um, let me see. So I kind of wasted a pretty good amount of. Hydroshock. I like doing okay on the other rabbit types. Чем тебе помочь? So repairing only um, deals with the cleanness of the weapon. I could still have to place everything else. Um, Yes, there is. I'm just gonna remove the parts that are still in green condition from these. That's by far the best one so far. Sell that one too. Sell that one too. Also, just for money. Well, I'll keep the repair bonus items. I'll sell anything that has the icon next to it, I guess. What I am kind of glad for is that this mod does not have the. Uh, old ammo like I it makes sense but I also am not a fan of it I don't think I'll want to make my own bullets for now so I'm just gonna sell all that stuff too 
Oh, okay, the zone is welcome. Keep the mutant parts I gathered. What do I need for one of these? This one is actually probably not in the worst condition because this is like a practice dismantling. I'm just gonna store all of these for now anyway. Um, I have one grooming kit I want this assembly, like one Swiss Army knife on me. Just add my cantina water, so let's store most of this. Let's see if well then again it's good to okay so it's good to be prepared but then on the other hand I'm also not gonna do like extensive hauls into the um, zone now so it should be fine for now I just want to get them out of my inventory for now. What do you pay for that? Okay. I heard bandits. Just all those two things. Very squeaky door. I'm just a mad kick on something. Yikes. There's a lot of money, so I'll just have to kind of like settle for now. 99%. So 100%, you can. Careful of which buttons I'm hitting here. Um, so, okay. Make our mutant hunting safe. Whatever that was, I don't want to be near it. Um, I will probably also just make it to this camp, this campfire, and then um, continue from there and up next time. Didn't get a whole lot done yet, but kind of the nature of the this game. Also need to do more recon. for you. Out of the three weapons that I picked up so far though, I like most of them. The gun's flight and self feel a little bit more intense so far. But that being said I've always to be like the first gunfight at least was more intense than what I've experienced before in base anomaly. Like I definitely like base anomaly Um, it's a really good mod and like it's definitely a fun to put a lot of time in especially if like and I can agree with like 
recommending people play the base because kind of like scolding somebody for not playing base and all like ba the base games before and I'm like they're clunky I can't see why people would know I still love the base games and like I'd still want to like trade permit I think them but like when it comes to having a starcraft experience I I kind of would probably prefer this a little bit more for Call of like Call of is still my favorite. Give me a second favorite, I like Shadow of Shinobi a lot, I like Clear Sky, like, I like it, but it also has a lot of the um, stability issues. Um, yeah, like stability issues aside, it's also a really great game and again, I am looking forward to doing like a trilogy for my death. I like talked about my, cause she originally like recommended me doing the um, the S3 permadeaths, uh, no permadeaths, no hit runs. Like, but stalker no hits which that would be very very intense you could try it like i think that was first would be a good setup and just kind of counting hits along the way and then go from there like that was for each game and kind of like see how hitless um Call of Prepare will go first because I think that'd be the easiest one. The other one just ran into the anomaly, I guess. So what does Mars do? Whoa. Oh nice, I should definitely keep this one. That's a really interesting one. Interesting. didn't sound fun to be around um, I do get a good use to the key bindings still I'm gonna go to this bonfire I'll just call it the bonfire now um, I'll just go to that bonfire save and um, the next time I'll continue my journey back to the Wookie village so I think it's kind of like a rough thing now. I'll probably just gather my strength, get more equipment, some more healing items, etc. before I decide to go out to the swamps. I just also, I might go out to the garbage and the, um, the bar, because garbage would probably be a good place to get some more um, hunting equipment and get some more hunting done but yeah until then the first step is going to be make it back to the rookie village in one one piece so far only one death for 45 minutes of a new mod pack to me i would call that a would call it a victory i hope you guys enjoyed this it, so far it's fun 45 minutes in
Might have been a bad fight to pick. Might be a yikes here. Okay, um, not really great. Also, loot is also will probably push me over the edge for. Ugh. guys had some medical stuff on you I'm done bleeding at least um, let me drink something here <coughs> Science could probably solve for a bit. Oh, cool inspection animation. Um, right, anyway, so. I'll, um. <sighs> I've gotta figure something out here. This is uh, not a good position to be in. Try out an experiment here. do that next step. <laughs> next time we'll uh, try to make it back to the rookie village. Oh, that, was, that was a bad decision so again now not for next time um, do not engage bandits or like any enemies until like you get some good gear I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time probably. Bye.